Welcome to deleting records in AL. That's easy, right? Hey, I'm Eric, and um, I was working on one of my apps, and I got into this situation where I needed to delete some records inside a loop, and depending on something, I need to delete some of them and not all of them. Um, and then suddenly, I was I was about to go down the route of having multiple record variables and you know you have you iterate on one and then you make a copy to another one and then you delete the delete the other one stuff patterns that we have used for decades and i was thinking and why am i doing this is this is actually the way so let me let me figure out well, how does that actually work um and uh, the next brilliant, no, not really. The next idea was, hang on, let me just record this as a video because uh, we might be able to learn something. Um, I, at least I wanna learn something here. I wanna be make sure that I actually understand what is going on. So um, I created a bunch of customers so we have something to delete. Um, and and the, the pattern, that I was, uh, I, I was trying to explain. Let's see. So we have we have C. That's the record of a customer. Then I go C dot get, and let's just. Well, where is it? It's here. And we would get sixty. That's C five. That's a good place to start. I seem to have a lot of stuff running on my computer that I do not want to have running on my computer. Um, let's see if we can reduce the clutter here. You, you see the icons disappear from the bottom. Okay, um, C0060, that's the one that we want to get rid of. C0060. So, if I go C delete, Clearly that record is deleted. But the question is, is this record variable still a record? So so if I do now we can we can do an error, just be kind of let's get rid of the exclude try here that we're doing that. So if I customer is and then let's just do format C. So we have just deleted customer 60. So what's in the variable? I think that's the first question to ask and, and perhaps answer even. <clears throat> so I do an arrow at the end because then I do not have to go and recreate it again, potentially. Let's uh, do this. We got a break. It's very excellent. So the variable is still there, right? The, the record variable still has a value, which is good, even though it's deleted. So if, if we if we didn't do the error, customer sixty would be is is gone, but it's still in um in memory so to speak so what happens if i now do c dot dot next i think this is this is actually the the uh we need to try this in in order so I've, if i do c dot next and then we do message uh something uh c dot number so now we're gonna actually gonna delete something. So what is next gonna do on a deleted record? Because the the old pattern that that I have used, and and I'm pretty sure there was a reason why we always did this back in the day, was that oh <clears throat> I want to preserve C to be able to do so. I, so I would do C two equals C, and then we will delete C two. And that was the pattern that I suddenly I found myself kind of doing. And I thought, 
sure, we did that in the '90s, but but do we still have to do it this way? So so let let's let's try to do this. See what happens here. I have no idea. This is not movie magic or anything. That worked. So let's just recreate. That worked. C0060, that was C5, right? The ways, now we got it again. Okay, so let's 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 change this up a bit and do instead so C set ray set filter, I think. Set filter on number and we wanna do a uh, filter saying C0060 uh 60 dot dot right and then let's do if c dot find set and and on find set we have a uh, a parameter for update so let's let's see what happens if we don't set that then if find set then uh repeat until c next equals zero if c dot number equals c is zero seventy then c dot delete we get rid of this we get rid of all that so this code should delete C0070 and still continue in the next. And that just worked. I'll just create that one again, 0, 0, 0, 0, 070 or C6, I think, right? Yeah, okay. So that just works. So if I do false here, it means what for update, what does update actually mean? Is that just for modifying or no difference? No difference. C zero 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 seventy C six, right? Yeah. So I think the uh, I think the conclusion is that that all the the weird stuff that I am I am I'm pretty sure I'm not alone has done over time might not actually be necessary um so what are, what other options are there um so we did a next a blind next on a uh, after a get actually we did this in find set um yeah so i, I think i can just delete and and so the interesting thing thing is the the so if we go business central find set for update what is what is the set this parameter to true if you want to modify any records in the set otherwise set the parameter to false if you set this parameter to true then the records will be read with update lock if you set this parameter to false, then you can still modify records on the record set, but these updates will not be performed optionally. Okay, so so the for update is just a uh, a hint uh, to um, to the AL engine uh, on on what you intend on and how it should handle the stuff, but you it will not change the behavior which we just saw, I think. Um, so yeah, now I think I'm ready to, uh, to write my, uh, 
my delete function in way more optimized way than I was planning on doing. Um, so for, for reference, I'm doing this on a BC27 here. Uh, I have no idea if, if older BCs behave differently uh, with this. I know Nav did at some point. Um, again, this might be, you know, sometimes you get into the patterns of, of, well, I do this because that's the way I have always done it, but it might not be necessary. So uh, always uh, question yourself. Um, that's the uh, that's the right way to do it. Check that out this video. Other ale hacking going on here. It's a good one. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.